You probably know that mosquitoes can spread diseases, but have you ever heard that mosquitoes can also be used to fight them? Well, a new innovative method shows that you can reduce dengue and other viruses spread by mosquitoes by using mosquitoes. These so-called arboviruses affect millions of people in the world, especially in tropical and subtropical places. Honduras is particularly affected. Every year, there are around 10,000 registered cases of people suffering from these diseases. They have serious effects on health and can be deadly. There are no specific treatments or vaccines available for dengue, and this means people are at constant risk of getting the disease. Since 1998, Doctors Without Borders has witnessed how all techniques to control the spread of these infections have become outdated and less effective. Doctors Without Borders has joined forces with the World Mosquito Programme, the Honduras Ministry of Health and the National University of Honduras to implement vector control techniques never used in the country before. This is where the mosquitoes fighting the good fight come into the picture. Here is how it works. There's a natural bacterium called Wolbachia which blocks disease transmission. It's present in about 50% of insects, but is not present in the type of mosquito that transmits dengue, zika or chikungunya. Starting in August 2023, Doctors Without Borders and its partners are working with local communities to release mosquitoes with Wolbachia in some neighbourhoods in the Honduran capital of Tegucigalpa. Once Wolbachia gets into the eggs of mosquitoes, they won't be able to transmit viruses that make you sick when they're adults and Wolbachia is transmitted from generation to generation, so it's self-sustainable. This method has been successful in 13 countries, including Colombia, Australia and Mexico. We're hopeful that it will also work in Honduras. No matter what techniques we come up with, they can only work with the support of local communities. For months, we work with community leaders on these techniques and the entire project has been co-managed by them. We will test mosquitoes to see what percentage carries the Wolbachia bacteria and we will also see if this leads to fewer infections of dengue. We will regularly share this information publicly. We hope these techniques will help guide the Honduran government and the wider region to prevent arboviruses. Doctors Without Borders will continue to work so people in Honduras get to live in a safer and healthier environment.